I'm excited to meet you all virtually and and congratulations on the film First Blush. And um, like, uh, I wanted to ask you, have you, is this your first time working together? Uh, yeah. No. Yes? Yeah. On this project, yeah. Wow, because you really had that chemistry, the connection, and you got into your parts, and it was just, it just connected so well. Surprise! Turning 30, does it feel different? Like, I guess I hit all the marks I'm supposed to hit in my 20s. Married, employed, I'm probably not going to die poor and lonely, so yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, but I didn't ask if you were doing great. I asked if you felt different. solid, right? Hey guys. I want to ask you, like, I'm a runner and I see a lot of themes, running themes in there. So how did you prepare for the role, like running? I see the running scenes up the, up the hill. Um, yeah, tell us about that. That was, that was a fun day, right guys? <laughs> we <ran laughs> <up> and... Could have got a little bit of running training uh, before that. I didn't realize how, how much of an ugly runner I am until I saw that on camera. I was like, oh. Exactly what I thought about myself. I'm like, that's what I look like running. <laughs> I feel like I look like Tom Cruise, and oh my god. What's worse, watching yourself kissing on screen or watching yourself running on screen? Running. Running. Oh, it was so bad. I was like, oh, nobody gets to videotape me running anymore. No. <laughs> No, I, I, I felt, well, if I may say, you're running up the hill or a mountain and you're just, you know, you're pumping your arms and, but I mean, so there's no runners, uh, but you do work out, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm a, I danced all my life. So physical mm -hmm. um, activity is huge in my life, but it still ain't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> No, it just, it just showed um, me, you know, that you love running. So it just, you know, it was, it was uh, great. I'm glad there's a, you know, running a theme, if you will, in it. And so tell us, um, how did the title come up, First Blush? Uh, you know, it wasn't the first title. Uh, for a while, the, it was called Plus One, which, oh. um, you know, is kind of a, I don't know, I think it's a little gimmicky, actually, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, or it's a little... It's kind of a pun or something. And then another movie came out last year um, called Plus One. So I'm like, all right. Um, so first blush felt right to me on a feeling level, on a gut level. Um, the color blush is kind of in the movie a lot and the set design and some of the lighting. And also it just felt kind of romantic and sexy and mysterious, you know? And also weirdly like uh, innocent. You know, like, oh, it's the first time we're kind of feeling these things. So, I don't know, it just kind of felt right. Yeah, and it was uh, released in 2019, is that right? Um, no, it's it's releasing uh, February 2nd of 2021. So, uh, it, we had our festival premiere in 2020. 2020, okay. And tell us the process of making the film. It was very DIY, very low-key, um, so uh, self-funded, uh, so... First step was just writing scripts and then like saving money for years and like not uh, doing things. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and then came uh, casting, you know, when I decided to like pull the trigger and do it. So I had, had a big open casting call and that's where I met uh, these dudes. And um, yeah, like, and then once we uh, were all in a room together, I don't know, what was that first audition like for you guys? Cause that was such a big part of uh, the project mm. like, really taking off. Well, I really needed the job because I had a lot of parking tickets that were way overdue. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a, uh, but no, no, the audition was, was uh, it was a great process. Um, we, we had tons of um, pages to, to memorize, to go off of. But the one thing that I remember is that Victor, our film references were kind of in line. You know, we would do a couple of takes of something and then he would say, all right, let's do the um, eyes wide shut on the bed version of it, you know? So, I got the language that he was speaking. And then I remember after meeting Rachel and Kate thinking that if they can just cast these two girls, I think, you know, 
will pull this off. So. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I said at the beginning, the connection, it was there. And I mean, like, I mean, looking back at the film, I mean, um, it's a lot of work, but did you stick to the script or was it ad-libbing a bit or? We, uh, we stuck to the script pretty closely. Um, I, it's my first film as a director, but I had, I've written a lot of other things. So I felt most, I felt very confident about the script because I'd spent a lot of time getting it to a place where I was happy with it and confident enough to like, and put my life savings <laughs> into like directing oh. the movie. So I wasn't trying to go out there and just be like, let's throw out the script. Um, I felt like the script was a great thing to be building off of. Um, that said, going into each and every scene, we would kind of run lines together. Um, and if a line was feeling weird or if something wasn't connecting, we would be doing some rewriting on the spot or like just changing the grammar mm-hmm. of it like that. Um, but for the most part, we stuck pretty close to the script, except there's a few sequences where like it's written into the script. They improv, you know, like they lie around in bed and like have fun and it's part of a montage, that kind of thing. Yeah. Generally, it's pretty, pretty tightly uh, written. Yeah, so you mentioned the first time directing, right? But you're also the producer, writer and editor, correct? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. mean, how do you do it? Like, I mean, yeah, well, I write so that I can direct and then I direct so that I can edit because I love all three parts. Mm. And um, I, f- I feel like I want to, pro- I probably want to keep editing my own stuff, even if I can afford an editor in the future. I think partially because I don't want to put an editor through working <laughs> with me <laughs> um, because I love just, I don't know, it's, it's maybe not surprising that the lead character is kind of a control freak because I love getting in the room and actually having all the material and being able to play with it for as long as I want to. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's not a problem. There are a lot of hats, I guess. I, I kind of like it in a sick yeah. way. Now, I, I, it's going to be released like Apple TV, iTunes, right? Um, It'll be... No. Um, all of your favorite cable providers. Yeah. I mean, we're talking yeah. Comcast, we're talking Cox, we're talking Direct TV. We've got iTunes, we've got Amazon, <laughs> we've got YouTube. I mean, we got a Blu-ray DVD with cast commentary and director commentary. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be everywhere. Tell your yeah, friends. Beg of you. I have to ask you: Is there a coffee shop called Silver Lake? Yeah, that's a real coffee shop. Yeah. That was like, yeah. I actually wrote a lot of the film at that coffee shop. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was filmed in LA. Um, yeah, it was all filmed, you know, around Silver Lake mainly. We shot some stuff in the Valley as well. And then we shot some of the wood stuff in Angeles Crest. And we did the beach scene at the beach. At the beach, yes. And it's lovely, by the way. <laughs> um, no, so uh, Nina plays the part where she's the well control controlling person um and olivia and you have drew anyone like to comment like um and your award-winning actors but tell us um about playing the role how did you get into it i approach most of my actors or most of my parts excuse me um i and driven emotionally as a person and as an actor. So I, I navigate through their emotions. Mm-hmm. Um, and those always vary, but to me, understanding them emotionally is, is how I have a really good grasp on a character. So just understanding the complexity of Nina and the, the emotional ride that I'd be going on with her uh, that was significant for me to understand where she was coming from emotionally and how she, and her, and her relationships to obviously her husband, Drew, and how she navigated the world. So, but really it was coming from an emotional standpoint. Mm-hmm. Is there a favorite part in the film? Oh, gosh, there's, there's so many, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I really enjoyed the, the, the tent scene is the, probably the one I always go to between Nina and Drew, where it's really kind of the, the climax of their relationship because it was, it's a challenging scene. It's also hugely important to the story and doing it opposite Ryan was just such a joy because it could have been exhausting to like get to the place that it, we needed to get together. But instead it was, it was fun because he's so lovely to play opposite. Um, and then also the, the fight between Olivia and Nina where that was the other one that I found really just memorable. Cause it, I was having, I had to be drunk. I also had to be upset. There were a lot of things that I was kind of playing with and Victor did such a lovely job of guiding me to where I needed to go. And then watching Kate bring this new side of the, her character to this part in the uh, film was just, you know, super special. Yeah, so, so challenging roles you played. And I mean, you know, the film is a bit like, it's comedy, there's drama and there's romance. <laughs> and, and, the fact is, is that um, you turn 30, the birthday, <laughs> which is a great, when, you know, I remember when I'm turning 30, that you go through a different change in life, right? You maybe question your life or, or am I getting older? And that, and that's a great um, idea to have the 30 birthday party where you didn't like birthday parties. <laughs> so in the film, but um, the movie, how would you describe the film? Like it's painful, it's, it's um, you know, bringing out uh, emotion and... Kate, I'm calling. <laughs> you did I'm it. Um, I, someone, um, one journalist said that it almost felt like a documentary, which I thought was a mm. really interesting thing. Um, but, I think sometimes it's difficult to see we're, we're so in it like what this <laughs> film is you know, like what would I what would I take away from it how would I label it um but I think it just tackles like so many so many different themes so many different emotions um and I think when you first read it and when you first when you first hear what this film is about you can kind of think oh this may be one-dimensional um and because if you're just singing polyamorous romantic comedy and then once you get into it it's like you just go through so many different um different waves of emotions and different experiences with these characters that's wonderful no thank you so much and again the film is uh gonna be on itunes everywhere i should say and i want to thank you all um, for allowing me to interview you, and I really enjoyed the film. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> Bye -bye. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, virtually. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be the way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.